folks, welcome back to some more Sanran Kagura Bust. On our last episode, the Hebicho gals went to the beach to relax after their first major mission. However, Mirai was still down in the dumps due to her almost going berserk during said mission and has since then gone missing. So, with that we tip it in mind, let us continue henceforth. And well, chop these lassies since they seem to be in new positions. Starting off with Yomi, if I can. There we go. Where could Mirai have gone? How would I like to know the same, Little Miss Poverty? Alright, here we go. I hope Mirai is okay. I hope so too. Mirai. Oh, and then Susan, eh? The higher-ups have yet to learn of Mirai's disappearance, but I can only maintain our silence for so long. Yeah, because we only have a day left, and maybe even less now. Alright, now we just need to chat up Homer, huh? Wherever she may be. There she is! Mirai, what happens? She's probably just feeling a bit guilty and is burdened by her, uh, previous flunk, huh? Then again, could she really be blamed? Because it is, well, a pretty heavy toll on her in both ways, eh. But anywho, also, let's read this out. Backstreet Girls. Our goal is to bring back Mirai, four-star difficulty, and... From a person with no emotion, Having me worry about you, Mirai, don't make me remember about that time, Hikage. Oh. Wait, what time? Are we gonna get some Hikage backstory? I'd be down for that, and bringing back the Munchkin. Mirai shouted at me, then turned and ran off down the beach. I don't know what was going on with her. All I could do was stand there, dumbfounded. Watching her shrinking form disappear into the distance gave me a weird, dark sensation in my chest. Oh. From that point on, she hasn't returned. We've been given an extra three days at the beach to look for her. Oh, an extra three! It's policy that heavy students who run away are treated as renegades since they know classified information. The punishment is harsh, of course. She could be imprisoned anywhere from a few years to life! The news of Mirai's disappearance hasn't spread past Master Suzane. That much we've gathered. Uh, apparently, extracurricular training at the beach is the explanation circling around the school. Even so, that lie has only bought us three days. If we can't find her by then, we'll have to report her disappearance to the school. The first and second days have come and gone. Oh gosh, so yeah. Time is pretty thin, we really do only have one day left. If we don't find her today, she's in serious trouble. The beach. The riverbank, the mountains, the barrens. We search until our legs are stiff and sore, but no trace of her can be found. Wow. She is a shinobi student after all. Yeah, but so are you, Bunch! It only makes sense that she wouldn't be easy to track. <laughs> That's always a possibility. Homura doesn't usually look this unsettled. If Mirai used these three days to get a head start, there's no way we're going to find her. We split up to continue looking for her individually. try to imagine how Mirai's feeling. Does she really want to leave Happy Joe? Probably not. It didn't seem like it. And 
And if that's true, then she probably hasn't gone far. I searched the back alleys of a deserted shops district. Mirai. Where are you? Where did you go? The sun is setting. We don't have much time left. As I look around impatiently, I suddenly have a sensation of deja vu. I remember. I've had this experience before with whom? I don't have any parents. I lived in an orphanage for as long as I can remember. Oh, I never knew that! I guess I must have been abandoned. Even as a child, I had no emotions, so the other kids used to tease me constantly. But since I didn't feel anything, being called weird or dead-faced obviously didn't bother me. Most of the kids seemed to find my attitude unpleasant, to put it mildly. I was eight years old at the time. I escaped the orphanage. I don't have any deep meaning for the action. I was just uncomfortable, so I thought I'd leave. People could live on their own. I wandered aimlessly, just barely surviving, but surviving nonetheless. A child living like that turned out, well, pretty much like you'd expect. An unsavory character. I fell in with a group of street crooks. There was a lot of turnover, you might say. So, I don't know how many were in the gang. I'm guessing it was around 40 in total. Our leader was a girl named Hinata, maybe 20 years old or so. She had smooth, pretty skin and always wore trendy clothes. She looked more like a model than a gang member. Despite her looks, she was deadly with a knife. Not someone you'd want to go against. Oh, so is that why you've got a knife? She was downright sadistic in a fight, which terrified everyone around her. Just like me, Hinata had escaped an orphanage. Maybe our backgrounds were similar. But she took good care of me. Even in the gang, I got teased a lot about my expressionless face. But Hinata was different. There's nothing strange about you. You're fine just the way you are. That's what she always said. Oh, that's sweet of her. It was a pretty odd statement, really. No one had ever said anything like that to me before. Hinata is different from the others. So, I want to be near her. I want to hear her voice. I would like to hear it too! You're telling me that she's a looker, but how does she sound? I must have followed her around like a puppy for I don't know how long. People can live on their own. But living by yourself is dull. I started to think that way ever since I met Hinata. Oh, you forgot we space there. Open your heart, people say. Without emotions, I never quite knew if I was doing it right. But... Maybe... My feelings about Hinata was the feeling of opening my heart. Even now, I can't say for certain. One time, thanks to some of our more incompetent members, we pissed off a rival gang. It came to the point of wanting us dead. Oh, well, do. One after another, our gang members were being slaughtered. Ooh. They had no problems killing the younger members of the gang. And I had a few pretty close shaves myself. At the rate things were going, we'd be wiped out. So Hinata approached our rivals to negotiate. But she never came back. Oh. 
I looked around for her. I don't even know how many days I kept searching. The other gang members suspected her of making a break for it and trying to escape on her own. But I didn't believe that. Hinata wouldn't abandon the gang. She wouldn't abandon me. Even if the members left the hideout, I kept looking. My search brought me to one of the back alleys of the shop's district. A familiar looking figure lay in a nearby dumpster. Oh no! Masaka. Please, let me be wrong. Onegaya. God, or anyone? Ma onegaya. Don't take Hinata away from me! I staggered to the front of the dumpster. There lay Hinata, limp as an old rag, her skin illuminated by the orange light of the sunset. Hinata! Hinata! I screamed as hard as I could, but Hinata gave no answer. Her smooth skin had been mercilessly slashed to ribbons. I touched her blood-drenched form. I felt how cold she was, how the warmth had been completely drained away. She was dead. She was long dead. Her favorite knife lay by her side. I picked it up and gripped it tightly. I held onto it as hard as I could, feeling as though the knife bore her soul. And I did indeed feel it, like something had dropped in my heart. Drip. Drip, drip. Drip, drip, drip. It was like rain. Rain fall inside of me. Mirai. I speak her name without even thinking. I'm by a dumpster in the shops district when I spot someone dressed like Mirai. Oh no! The image of Hinata's dead body rushes back into my mind. A chill runs down my spine. With a lump in my throat, I approach the dumpster. Mirai's body is in the garbage. Oh gosh, please be fine. She's not even twitching! Mirai... Suero. My strength leaves me, and I drop to my knees. Mirai suddenly sits up. Okay, good! Oh, you wee trickster! She looks at me uncomfortably. Her doom, right? That's when I feel something drip in my heart. Drip. Drip, drip. Drip, drip, drip. Just like when I lost Hinata, there's rain inside me. Mirai looks at me, shocked. Oh... Crying? Me? That can't be! Silly belly, those could be tears of joy! I take her hand. She gives me a tiny smile and offers me a handkerchief. Crying? Am I really crying? No, that could never be. I don't have any emotions, so there's no reason I would ever cry. You're just convinced that you don't have any. It just can't happen. But... Maybe... 
may be that raindrop feeling in my heart as the sound of tears. Maybe I was in tears while thinking of Hinata and Mirai. If that's true, then maybe I... I dab my eyes with Mirai's handkerchief. I look down at the fabric and notice that it's slightly damp. Mirai, what did you get Come on, you can speak up about it, you wee munchkin. I'm not sure if I'm going to die. I'm going to die. No, I'm not going to die. I don't want to die. If you don't want to leave the school, you know what to do with the school. I know. I know that the school is going to be in the face of the school. But... I don't want to die. ほなしゃあないな無理やりにでも連れて帰るで Oh, guess we're knocking her out That's that then But dang, the fact that the knife has sentimental value to Hikage Oh Hikage, mai junjiru Zettai ni, nushi nan ka sase nai wa Oh god. Now I remember how Mirai was in the Hansora and she could almost one shot you, so I wonder if this is gonna be here. Well I'll just have to find out, huh? I don't I still wanna transform though. Does it? Right, let's go! Oh. Of course we are! We're breaking you up! Oh. Oh gosh! <laughs> that was a bit of a janky combo, but we'll take it! Gosh dang it though when it came to Hikage's backstory, I wasn't expecting something along those lines. Because, well, Mariah was mainly to do with bullying. We haven't gotten full context for Haruka. Yomi as well, a life of poverty. And it's just things like that. It just helps build the character because, well, before, I did like Hikage. I didn't think too much of her in comparison to the others in this heavy jewel class, but I'm starting to think more highly of her. Because now there's a bit more reason behind her acting the way that she does. <laughs> Granted, my starting point wasn't first originally, so maybe that also doesn't help. When it comes to getting context to how some characters act, so yeah. <laughs> But there we go! That might be the end of this chapter.
未来今力抜いてたやろ Wait, was she? Is that why she just barely grazed us? Holy boy! もどりたくなければ、わしを倒せばよかったはずや。それやのに力を抜くとはどういうこっちゃ。私は戦いたくないんだ。選抜メンバーのみんなは私の大事な友達だから。傷つけるのも傷つけられるのも嫌なんだ。でも今のまま蛇女にいたら私凶暴化してみんなに襲いかかっちゃうかもしれない。凶暴化？超秘伝忍法書の任務のことなんか？私、半蔵襲撃の時
私は未来聞け体力や精神力が弱いのなら鍛えればいい違うかやるべきことはまず修行逃げるよりも鍛えることだ<笑> Gosh, this is just so over. 未来私と戦え<笑> For real this time No pill and punches like you did of Hikage 無意味に殺し合うための戦いではないヘビジョの仲間として生きていくための戦いだ<笑>ホムラお願いよしでは行くぞ Time to poke a munchkin once again! Well! <laughs> But it's for the better, I suppose. How about the? Oh gosh, I've already wasted a healing guy up! Oh, he's just a couple over there. There's a lot of XP scrolls, holy moly! Why so many? Hey, let's, darling. Let's drag her home. Oh! I need to get her to combo, please. Oh! Oi! Stop having super armor! Thank you. Oh, gosh. I'm almost wasted to hold the items. Well, that happens when Homer's a little bit more unwieldy. Let's go! Uh, uh, noise! Uh, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there! Oh gosh, I whipped! Uh, I still got some hits though, there's the none. <laughs> Stop, please. There we go. No, my cup is gonna get dropped. Take it. The goes breaking, man. The place is there. Invite to drop the fight. The oh, humbug. Oh, he's in that initial combo string, though. Noise. Aww! My dogs! I was trying to keep up the pressure too! Ah! There we go, there we go! Oh, we up! And... Bada bang! Bada boom! Ah! Well, that was certainly more eventful than the Hikaki fight. Oh no, a beer rag with Hover up. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Oh, new swimsuit. Another swimsuit. An accessory. Quite a few things we got. Indeed. Clearly, we both didn't play through the same Hansel route where, uh, you gave me a game over. <laughs> when I was Yaku, you killed me so fast, I was deader than dead. <laughs> I'm still thinking back to that, just of all the characters to knock me out, it just had to be a munchkin. <laughs> I 
Well then, keep pursuing that goal. Keep building up to it. なれるさ。未来なら強くなるための戦いなら私がいくらでも付き合っている。いいのかな。私。抜け人になってたいの。気にするな。今戻れば音がめはないだろう。それに悪は善より寛大だからな。いや。We yeah. <笑> could break the rules, our own ones, sometimes. <笑> Ah, there we go. Yes, Kimeta. Much can get so. Once again, yes. So, just a double check. Are we done with the chapter? I would assume so. Yeah. Okay. Because this was going to be my ending point regardless, but that helps solidify it. So, folks, thank you all for watching this episode of Senran Kagura Burst, and I'll see you all next time with some more life and hometown. Ta-ta for now.